Israel and the United States are still in the process of negotiating a financial aid agreement, and some Israeli leaders say that the Jewish state should want to close a deal after a new American president is elected. Joining us today in the studio is senior researcher Dr. Chaim Weitzman with more on the issue. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. So to begin, tell us some more about this deal. What are some of the main points of contention uh, that have prevented it from being signed? Um, there are a few issues on the table. First of all, the sum of money. Israel wants more. Obviously, the Americans want to limit it. But then there is the question of how do you spend the money? How do you use the money? For example, up until today, Israel received about $3.1 billion uh, a year, about $70 billion in the last two decades. But out of this sum, Israel could use about a quarter purchasing in Israel, which means giving jobs to Israelis in the Israeli military industry and developing new weapons and so on and so forth. Uh, Israel could buy with this money oil, about $400 million a year. And now the Americans, this administration, want to, wants to um, limit it to purchases only in the United States and excluding the oil, which means a lot of money, first of all, and secondly, a big slap to the Israeli industry, which is very problematic. And we are dealing with it right now because we are talking about the next decade. What's going to happen? In, they are trying to close the deal for the coming the next 10, 10 years. years. Right. So, you know, given this controversy, should Israel be waiting to close a deal with the next president? You know, we have the elections coming up very soon. I think Israel and the United States already came to an agreement. And I think Israel receives more or less what Israel wanted, which means maybe not 25% for purchases in Israel, but some uh, part of the money to, for purchases in Israel. And the sum of money is about $3.8 billion a year, which means an increase. And on top of it, in times of emergency, like a war or something like that, there will be special treatment. What so, makes you think that this agreement has uh, been made? Well, I don't have really inside information, no more than anybody else. But I was watching very carefully Mr. Netanyahu after his meetings with uh, Mr. John Kerry early this week. And the wording, more than anything else, the fact that he reiterated that the United States is our best ally, our most important strategic asset, and so on and so forth, make me believe that they already came to an agreement. So, you know, speaking about this huge aid deal, does this mean that Israel is going to be very dependent on the United States? What does that mean for future relations? Well, Israel is dependent on the United States. I don't have to remind you that in 1982, in the Olympics in Moscow, the United States boycotted the Olympics in Moscow, and Israel did not participate, in spite of very clear Israeli interest with the Soviet jury of the time. I mean, to send during the Soviet regime Israeli delegation to the Olympics would have been something fabulous for, for the Jewish, Jewish community there and for Israel. And Israel did not send because the Americans boycotted the Olympics. However, having said that, in international politics, the patron has a lot of power, but the client has power as well because that the American administration has its own needs. For example, right now, Mr. Uh, Obama would like to close the deal before the Democratic Convention because of internal needs, internal politics. 
you know Mr. Kissinger and Dr. Kissinger used to say that there is no foreign policy, there is only uh, internal policy, politics. Right. So, yes, Israel de is dependent on the United States. However, Israel has its... Um, its own power. It's not its so own power and, and space for maneuvers. And sometimes to maneuver the patron, patron as well, to right. do what, it, what the client wants. Well, thank you so much for coming in. This is very eye-opening, and uh, we hope to have you back soon. Thank you. Thank you for having me.